Brandon, we might take it for granted that there's going to be another game here at Bakersfield Christian tomorrow night. So let's go back to last week and just to see how they got here. Remember that two touchdown comeback, including that fake field goal intercepted return for a touchdown and that failed two point conversion that sealed the win and gave BCHS a chance to play in and host a state championship, an opportunity nearly 100 years in the making. Wednesdays inside the front office at Bakersfield Christian aren't usually this busy. I have a ton of ones. Here. <laughs> then again, the front desk usually doesn't sell tickets okay, to Bakersfield's first state title game in almost a century. Good, yeah, we're selling a lot. This one's from the state. Bakersfield High School's archiving teacher Ken Hooper knows just how special it is. And this will be in 1924. He's combed through the archives to find just two other state title games held in Bakersfield. There are pictures of the 24. There's just not articles. In 1922, Kern County Union, now BHS, beat Berkeley at the old state fairgrounds. Then in 1924, the first and only championship game held at Griffith Stadium. Back then, the National Hockey League had just played their first game on U.S. soil. Calvin Coolidge was just starting his first term as the country's 30th president. Same thing. Everyone's focused on the game, and it should be very exciting. So back to BCHS. My office is usually much cleaner. While state games are usually held at neutral venues, a recent change by the CIF allowing more smaller schools to go to state is what allows for Saturday night's history. They're all three of them going to have a mic. For athletic director Blake Vandershaft, this week has been organized chaos. We tried to get it at BC, but with the condors set up and everything, that didn't work out. Instead, it'll be here. Where two weeks ago, around 3,000 were watching the Eagles win Valley. But tomorrow night, standing room only, more bleachers, more food, and more porta johns. And for the players, more hype. 92 years ago. Think about how far football has progressed and how many fans it's received. Today's rally was the team's final send-off before they'll take the stage at state. These guys have been putting in work for almost a year. It's almost been since January we've been going at it. And we have a special message from Derek. Good luck, fellas. Bring that state championship home. God bless you. So Derek Carr listed as the team's official hype man. It went crazy there when he came on screen, but in 24 hours, these stands will be filled and it will be extremely loud because over 3,000 tickets have already been sold and the administration tell me they're expecting to sell two to 3,000 more tickets just in standing room only. So if you want to get out here, you're coming to this game, you want a seat, you're going to have to get here early. Tomorrow, gates open at 4 p.m. for that 6 p.m. kickoff against Camp Alindo. Catch full highlights and post-game reaction, of course, tomorrow night on 23 ABC News at 11. And until then, live at Bakersfield Christian, Stephen Hicks, 23 ABC Sports.